first of all, you're going to need your chosen vinyl. I've chosen this holographic pink one. You're going to need a chain, some eyelets, some popper snappers, some clips, and a zip for the little baggie that we're going to make later. You're also going to need a ruler, a pen, a crocodile, or a hole punch. This is a lot of pink. Pink panther. Okay, so <laughs> here is one. As I said, when you're making your bag, you just need to open it and select the size you want of your bag. If you want it to be big, and then this is the fold over. If you want it to be small, and then that's the fold over. You decide how big you want your bag to be. That's the reason why I'm not giving any measurements. I have other bags, videos that I have made that you can see in more detail. Um, so this is the one I have chosen to, this is the size I have chosen. The other ones I've done different sizes. I should show you these in case you haven't seen my other bag videos. These are some other size bags I've made. So this would be a small, this is a medium, and this would be a longer size bag. Sorry about that, that's a lot of noise. And this is gonna be a longer size bag. So it's gonna be this shape. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do with this vinyl is you want to peel off the in fact no we're not going to peel it off we're going to we're going to leave it for now we're going to leave it for now you need to clip the sides as i've done here and then remove all these away what you want to do is for this bag actually i didn't mention we're going to use some of these spikes so instead of sewing the bags like what we normally do we are going to use some spikes so what you want to do is you want to get your pen and a ruler. If you are using a plain fabric that doesn't have like these dot, these triangle things in there, you need to use a ruler to figure it out. But because this has actually got diamonds, I can use the diamonds to measure where I want to put all of my holes. So what you want to do is find a place to put your hole and draw a circle. I'm gonna do all of mine at the end of my diamonds. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, if you don't, as I said, you can just use a ruler, figure it out and space out where you're going to put your studs. I'm lucky this fabric has got diamonds in it, so I don't need to spend time measuring. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see that, but I have drawn black dots I think you might be able to see. I've drawn loads of black dots. Anyway, let me ho hole punch them. Make sure you use a clip though, because what you don't want is for it to move while you're hole punching it and then you're in trouble. So you grab your crocodile. There are two sides on your crocodile. There is a small hole and a large hole. For this project, we're gonna use a small hole because the studs are quite small. Now, Lily, what I want you to do is pick out the studs, put the studs on one side and put the screws on the other. We're gonna need I'll tell you how many we're going to need as we go along. You need one, two, three. And the good thing with the crocodile is you can see the black dots through the hole. So you know where to hole punch. The only reason why I'm leaving the plastic on at the moment is because I am crocodiling it and I don't want to scratch the plastic with the crocodile. I've lost count. In fact, I better take it off. Yeah, let's, we're learning as we go along. This is the first bag I've made like this. Let's take it off because you don't want to get lost in something. So top all of that protective stuff off. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in loads of different colours as well, but Lily chose pink. And Lily doesn't really normally like pink. She's a blue, more of a blue person. I'm quite surprised she's even wearing that top now because she's like, Mommy, I want to wear blue. That children change, children change. So, right, let's do the first one. Oh, you're going to need a screwdriver as well. I didn't mention that. Where's the screwdrivers? Why not the way, please? Let me get a screwdriver. I have everything in this place. Did this screwdriver work? Or should we get a smaller one? Yeah, I think we're going to need a smaller one. I know. <laughs> See, um, because I absolutely love crafting, I have so many different things in my house, which is how I'm able to make these videos, because 
in this corona time nobody's got the chance to go shopping and buy go to hobby craft or anything so it hasn't been easy but because i've been ha keeping all this stuff in my house for so long and just crafting with it i have the chance so while we're on this lockdown i can show you how to make loads of different things so you want to grab the bottom of your screw hey we didn't learn a lesson last time because we need to do the top of snap we should be right, now. All right so you want to grab your what are these called spikes studs and you want to screw it on but don't screw them too too tight because you might need to adjust it you want to get your next one so this is how it looks this is the first one we've done you can see that that's the first stud get the second one and keep going around and keep going around and when we're done we'll be back this is nice so this is one side done so Lily do you think we should go all the way around or we should make this into a v-shape shouldn't we we should do it all the way around no no let's leave it let's leave it for now all right so we'll do the other side and should do the bottom as well i think we should do the bottom or leave the bottom leave the bottom in it yeah yeah so the bag yeah, leave the bottom for now. Um, the only thing is with this bag, you don't want to put tiny, tiny things in there or money because money can slip out. But larger things like your phone or makeup bags or your purse, it won't fall out. So it's perfectly fine. Once you've done them and you've got them all lined up, then you want to screw it as tight as you can. And you can choose gold or silver sp spikes. It's totally up to you. And yeah, we're going to do the rest of this other side and we'll be back. This bag looks really, really nice. It looks expensive as well. Yes, look at my bag. We're gonna make a little purse to go with it in a minute. But that is gonna require the sewing machine. Actually, no, we should do the purse with the spikes. Mm. This looks really nice. Right, we've got to figure out how we're gonna get this bit to stay and not curl over. Should we do it round again? Should we do it round? Yeah. Because it's curling and then we can do the earring thing again. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so if you want to do your bag with a round, because this doesn't look, it's not working. It's not working. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it round. You can probably find a way to heat it and then press it out. You can actually iron vinyl, but on a very, very low setting. And I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to make the bag round. So you want to fold it in half. You can draw if you want to. I'm going to fold it this way because the spikes are preventing me from getting accurate. So fold it on its back. Make sure it's as even as you can get it. Get your scissors and then cut a round shape at the top and then go down. And depending on how round you want the bag, it is totally up to you. And then there you have your bag with a round edge. Next, we've just got to put the proper snap. And another thing you can use the scraps for is earrings. <laughs> so we're going to keep them. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to find something and I'm going to attach them to it. If you've got like a pair of studs, I think they're good studs. You can just pop the stud through the top of the earring and then you've got your earring and your matching bag. It's actually really, really cute. Let me show you close up. So this is how it looks close up. Absolutely gorgeous. And it matches your bag. So it looks absolutely amazing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our proper snap on there. And then we are going to maybe should we do some more studs going around this bit or leave it? Don't bother. Don't bother. Huh? All right. Well, let's see what, how we feel. Let's put this proper snap on first. So you want to get your proper snap tool. Whatever it may be. So as I keep saying in my other videos, what you want to do is you want to make sure 
that you keep your popper snap, aim for the middle. If you've got a ruler, you can actually measure it out. Aim for the middle, but do a small dot, but don't push it through. Do a small dot, test it, and then push it through. In this case, it's got diamonds, so I can see where I want it to go. So I'm gonna pop that there. Then when you're doing your second bit, you wanna place it down and gently poke another hole, but don't push it through, just do it gently. Then open your bag up, and then where you can see the hole, put your hand inside of it, and then poke the hole through, but do it gently. Right, so let's get our poppers. We have decided to use pink poppers for this one. I was gonna use black, but then I thought, nope, it doesn't look right. And then I said, I'm gonna use pink, so pop your popper snappers. As I keep saying in these videos, I absolutely love these popper snappers because they're so easy to apply. They're very, very cheap. You can get loads of them on eBay, loads of them on Amazon, AliExpress, whatever the case may be. And it comes with a tool if you choose to. And you get loads and loads of different colors. So the possibilities are endless. You can put these on clothes, bags. You can decorate anything with these. And this fabric is really cute because it's actually transparent. You can't really see that it's transparent when you look at it, but it actually is. I wonder if I can show you something to show you that it's transparent. There's the other snapper. This is actually so gorgeous and so easy to make. Where's the snapper tool? There it is. And then you want to get your snapper tool and pop it on. Squeeze, get your bottom bit. Oh, we didn't learn our lesson from the last bag. If you can, try to put your proper snappers on measure before you do this. If you do a really big bag, it's gonna go wrong. I'm sorry guys, I should have said that. But this is the first time I've make it, I'm making a bag like this. I got this vinyl today and I was like, oh yes, creation. I've never made a bag like this before. This is my first attempt. This has been a first attempt on everything today. I've made so many, made, how many bags have you made today? Four? No, this is the fourth one. There we go. And there you have your spiked holographic transparent bag. I think I can show you this transparent. You see my hand through there? What can we put in here that will? The thing is, if you shine it to the light, you can see it's transparent. I might take another picture and show you. But if you're not shining it to the light, it doesn't look like it's that transparent, but it is. So there you go, there you have it. So what you want to do, you want to make sure once you've done, screwed in all of your bags, you want to take your screwdriver and screw all of them in. You don't have to do any more. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you're still going. Oh baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Now because you've done that, we'll do even more around it. We'll do some going around this bit. Yeah? Yeah. Just to justify all your hard work. All right, let's do that. Screw them in as hard as you can. And it's so easy to make. It just, you can make this out of anything. It doesn't have to be vinyl. If you're gonna use the spikes, please don't do it on fabric because if fabric, it will tear. So just, if it's vinyl, use the spikes studs. If you're gonna do it with fabric, then make sure you sew it. Please, I know. <laughs> I know, I've learned the hard way. So, screw them all in as much as you can. And the good thing is, if they start to come off again because they're screwed in, you can always just get your screwdriver, screw it back in, and you're ready to go. And this bag looks like it could be a going out bag, it could be a festival bag, a going out, did I just say that? It could be a casual bag. Um, also, what you could do is, if you wanted to, you could put a strap on there and then it could be a... Uh, is it called a bum bag? A bag that goes around your waist. But I don't want it to go around my waist. We're going to do the studs going around there? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Oh, but this is going to be tricky because how are we going to know where to put them? Should we leave it? Leave it. Leave it? Yeah. All right, let's make the purse. Should we make the purse? Yes. Should we make the purse the same? Or should we make the purse zippy? No, we've got to make the purse with the zip. Yeah. Yeah, make the purse with the zip. So there we have it. Right, you want to put the chain on it. So the next thing you want to do is get your crocodile and the chain. I think we might be brave enough and then try and do the do more spikes on it. 
I say, let's be brave. All right, so you wanna get your crocodile and get ready to set your eyelets. You wanna do your crocodiles at the edge. Ooh, I think we should measure this one because this one, you can't really see. So let's do one here. You need to set your eyelets. So let's do a little dot there and do another dot here. And then you want to get your eyelets, your crocodile, sorry, and set your holes. I can't really see this too well. But I'm going to give it a go. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because nobody's going to look in my bag and say, you haven't set your eyelets properly. So it doesn't really matter. There you go. Where's the eyelets? There they are. And you wanna set your eyelids. Ooh, let's go. You wanna set your eyelids. You wanna set your eyelids. I'm gonna get you all singing. You wanna set your eyelids. You should make a song. I know, really. Right? You guys are going to come off YouTube and then you're going to be sitting down going, you want to, <laughs> you want to say it. You're going to think, why am I saying this? You want to say it. Don't do the eyelids. I did it again. I've done it too hard. I'm going to leave it. Nobody's going to notice. You want to say it. No, that's going to get annoying now. <laughs> All right. Don't squeeze your crocodile too hard on these eyelids because it distorts them. And no matter how much I keep saying it, I keep doing the same thing. Try and do it gently. Here we go, I've done that one, all right. And there you go, there you have it. Hey! How did I put a hole in there? I've managed to put a hole somehow here. You know what that means? It's a sign. We need to do it all the way around. You should decorate it with a bow. Let's decorate it with a bow. Good thinking. All right. See, mistakes are never mistakes. They are always a learning curve. Look. No, these are our earrings. We're going to keep our earrings. We're going to keep our earrings in our bag so we know where to keep them. Right. We're going to make a bow out of this. I don't know if we should make a bow out of something else. Do you think we can make a bow out of this? Do you think it will not get it distorted? No, this is going to be our purse. Let's get another bit. Should you try it? Let's try it. You never know until you try. All right, let's do this. Let's use the scissors with it. This is easy to cut. I think we're going to do this by this step there. There has to be a top as well as Let's try this. And then we can use something to keep it in there. What can we use to hold it in? Um, um, this bag you can use. Right. So how you make bows, fold in half, and then you accordion fold. Forward, turn it over. No, backwards, turn it over, forward, turn it over. I've showed you so many times in my videos. I make so many bows. I'm the bow master. Booyah. Well done, Lily. Ideas. All mistakes are for a reason. Now we need something to hold this. And then it's going to go through the bag. Oh, that looks wicked. Ribbon? Mm. We might have to use ribbon. It's going to have to be something... You could use that rhinestone thing. The rhinestone thing? It might have to be ribbon, you know, at this rate. Let's just use ribbon. Like this. But a little rhinestone thing. Maybe. Let's just use ribbon because I know that will work. Yeah, let's just use pink ribbon. See if we had anything gold. Let's use pink ribbon. I should 
probably make this a bit longer. Right, so this is what we're going to do. See, mistakes are for a reason. We're going to feed one part of it in there. And then we're going to feed the other part. I don't know if you can see this. We're going to feed both parts of this ribbon into the hole that I accidentally punched. I don't know how I even did that. Feed both ribbons. And then it's going to be... Ooh, this is hard. I should have burned it first. Feed both ribbons in there. And then we're going to leave it in a loop. If you can see that. And then we're going to put our bow through the loop. Through the loop. And it's all done. So here we have, ladies, our holographic pink bow baggie and some matching earrings. Ta -da! Never mix your good scissors with cutting random things. Keep one set of scissors for fabric and one set for cutting random things or paper, but never mix the two, whatever you do, because it will dull your good scissors and we don't want that. Right, so we've got our pink zip. Now we need to sew the zip on. Once we sew the zip on, we'll be back. If you need me to show you how to sew a zip, I can, but there's loads of videos on YouTube and I'm not going to bore you showing you how to do that anyway. The idea is to create new things, so. So, here's our finished purse. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So what we did is I sewed on the zip. I had to burn the edges because I couldn't, I didn't think of sewing it, which I should have sewn it. Um, I stuck the studs on and then I was like, no, the money's going to go through the studs. So I thought, let me quickly pop a sew in, a sew, sew around it. And here we have our little zippy purse that matches our bag. There's the back, there's the front. And then, yeah, you have your matching set. So you've got your purse, your bag, and your matching earrings. So I hope you like this video. Give a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more crafty videos. So here we go, ladies. Here we go, ladies. And the good thing is with this purse, it is actually, it can be unisex. Unisex, you're thinking? Just make it in a black fabric for a man, and then put the studs. And if he wants to put his glasses in there, or whatever the case may be, this is, anything is possible with this. All you have to do is just use a different fabric um, or a different colour and then it can be for anything. So here we go. Thanks for watching and I hope you like my videos. And here on this channel we create literally everything from bags to bows to sewing to crafting to my designing. These are one of my designs. My brand is called They Are Lee. And we make everything here on this channel. Cards. We will show you product, different products that we buy and that we have bought. Like the last one I did was about the Cricut Easy Press. If you don't know what that is, have a look on my page. It's basically a heat press, which is how we stick our vinyl on, um, which is one way of sticking vinyl on. And there's so many other things you can do with your Cricut heat press. That is just one of them. And yes, thanks for watching and get some vinyl, get creating. And I hope you like that video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>